perversions of science. <laughs> Have you been waiting long? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I like to tease. Then when you're ready to give up on me, when you're ready to pack it all up and pull out, I simply smile and suck you back in. My friend Billy also knows a thing or two about manipulation. But he's not one to pontificate. In cases like this, he'd rather cut right to the heart of the matter. I compress this dangerous dollop of data under the title, Anatomy Lesson. Sorry to bother you so late. That's okay. Occupational hazard, I guess. I'm not in the habit of waking folks up at this hour. But this couldn't wait. I understand. So what's the story here? Found them in an alley behind the bar on Lexington. I haven't seen anything like this in a while. We're going to need an ME report while it's still fresh. We'll bring them down. I'll take a look. You got a worksheet on him? Yeah, name's uh, Dirk Henderson. Dirk Henderson. Barbara Henderson's husband. Same one. You know him? By reputation. I don't have to tell you that this couldn't have happened to a nicer son of a bitch. Get a few beers in old Dirk, and suddenly it's Friday night at the fights at his house. I've seen what he's done to her. Have you? Treated her about six months back. Told me an iron fell off a shelf and hit her in the head six times. I have a feeling Mrs. Henderson's accident rate's going to drop down quite a bit. Well, I'll leave you to it. I've seen enough for one night. Yeah, call me in the morning. I should have some more results by then. How many times do I have to tell you, Billy? I'm sorry. That is no room for a child. I heard some noises outside. We have been over the rules a hundred times. Now, you just get into bed this instant, and I will deal with your punishment in the morning. Do you understand? Yes, sir.
Coming! Billy. Lunch. Get something at school. I made this for you. Whatever. No, 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 hold still, hold still. No, you're not going with your hair like that. And is this what you're wearing? Yes, this is what I'm wearing, damn it. There are rules about language in this house, young man. I'm going to ask you one more time. Is this what you are going to wear? Yes, ma'am. Well, I've told you a thousand times, Billy. Clothes make the man. Look, I don't have time to change. Will you give me my damn... Lunch, please. Kiss. Oh, Billy, have you seen the cat? What about the cat? Oh, no, not again. No more cats in this house. That's a new rule. Hey, Pops, what was it last night? I mean, I saw the sheriff's car pull up. Another killing, huh? Looks that way. How'd this one die? That's none of your business, Billy. And shouldn't you be getting to school? You don't have the time, remember? Well, um, maybe we can talk about it later, right? What? It's just not right, Stan. He's showing an interest in his father's work. Always has. I don't see a damn thing wrong with it. Does everyone here have to use bad language? You're right. I'm sorry. Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. It's been eight years. That is the 18th victim I have autopsy down there. All from the same killer. The sheriff hasn't done a goddamn thing. Well, do you blame him? Look at the victims. The child molesters, wife beaters, and Lord knows what else. It's not like he's killing church-going folk. What, and that makes it all right? The FBI should have been brought in in this a long time ago. And I'm damn sure gonna make sure it happens. Oh, fuck. Breathtaking. Just like your old man, Billy. You got real talent. Well, then it helped. She tagged all the parts. Yeah. There's hope for you yet, Miss Barton. Nice work, everyone. Class dismissed. He didn't have to lie about. He didn't. Uh, you, you helped. If it wasn't for you, Billy. I would never pass this class. It's not true. I owe you. Know what I mean? How about tonight? That's good. Great. Pick me up at eight. Good at biology, Billy. Yeah, that fascinates me very much. Mm, me too. Especially human biology. You know, man and woman stuff. Woman. Human. Wow. 
allergy. Do you like the feel of it? <laughs> oh, yes. Take the keys and go home. Hey, but what was it? I said take the damn car and go home. Look at me. I said look at me! Tough day, huh, Billy boy? Somebody had to look after their well-being. You certainly didn't. Now I got the power. Who are you? What does it matter? My whole life you've been following me. Everywhere I look, there you are. Now I want to know who you are and what you want from me. You want a lot, don't you, Billy boy? I'll bet you want the power back, don't you? Hmm? Go ahead. Take it. All right. Now answer me. Answer me! <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Killing is a funny thing, boy. What do you know about killing? You did all these murders. It's a souvenir. It's important to keep a record of all the things you clean up. I have souvenirs. Animal parts. How'd you know about that? I know a lot of things about you, Billy boy. Now put that little toy away. I have looked at all those people that you killed. Your, your technique, your, your, your style. I understand you. I understand everything. I don't think so, Billy. If you did, you wouldn't be here. No, no. No, I should be here. This is definitely where I belong. And you've been following me and waiting. You're going to teach me, huh? You're going to teach me to kill like you. No. What do you mean? I, I just I want to know what you know. I don't I want to be you. You could never be me, Billy. Take my advice, please. Throw that sharp little stick away and go home. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is not right. This is that, 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 that's not fair. That, that you want to help me, you, then you teach me. You teach me how to kill like you. You must have a reason to kill. And yours, Billy Boy, is not good enough. Killing for the thrill is not a good enough reason. Me, I have my reasons. I'm trying to help you, boy. You're right. I never even thought about it that way. I've never had a reason before. Until now. Oh. You just pissed me the fuck off. How's that for a reason, huh? Chance, Billy Boy. What are you? I'm the stop sign on the road you travel. Do we really need these questions? We're here, have been for thousands of years. And we like to keep it quiet about being here, except every now and then when there's a genetic mistake. In fact, we've done this twice before. A doctor in London with a strange affection for prostitutes, and a man in San Francisco with a perverse interest in astrology. And now, you. And while we waited to see if you were as we suspected, I cleaned up a little of the garbage from the species and eliminated it. Are you saying I'm garbage? No, you were the price for interspecies regeneration, just like those other two. Uh, a genetic mistake. Uh, and the best way to handle a mistake is to correct it. Goodbye, son. Hopefully your dissection will help us find a cure for this little problem. You bitch! You goddamn bitch! I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna cut your fucking heart out. You hear me? You hear me?
poor Billy. As hard as he tried, he still got a bum deal. Too bad, too. I know a lot of people who thought his work was really cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.